Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to some more Yomawari gameplay. I've made my way back over to my house and the reason for that is I've changed my mind since the end of the last episode. I did say that I was going to continue exploring around a bit and seeing what collectibles slash key items I could find but after re-watching my video I don't think I explored the pool area enough so because we got a key which then led us to another key to open up the pool area and I didn't find a single key item so that makes me think that I missed something there so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that area um, and see what we can find basically also hopefully along the way I can find some more coins and also some more stones because I'm running low. I think I actually jinxed myself because a couple of episodes ago I was bragging about how many coins I had and how this game requires a lot of saving and I've got loads of coins and I should save a lot and now I've run low because I've saved too much. <laughs> so yeah, uh, hopefully we can find some along the way. I do think coins and stones respawn but not all of them because if I go back on the map I remember in the school area that's yellow there picking up a stone on the left hand side um, and then when I went back after a while it was there again. So I do think some items do respawn which makes sense because you're using the stones and the coins quite a lot aren't you so that's pretty generous. But I still think some items are like fairly limited or some stones and coins maybe don't respawn I don't know. It's still early days of me playing this, isn't it, really? So so hopefully on this episode we can move along with the story. That's what I would like, because the last episode was purely a exploration slash collecting episode, I guess. Right, I need to go this way, don't I? So I need to draw out these eyeballs slash chompers. Don't let them get too close, Kylie. Come on. Come out of there so I can get past you buggers. There we go. I mean, for the most part, it seems like the spirits are fairly set in where they appear. But I do notice someone's kind of like come at random but most of them do seem set so if you do have to replay parts over and over it's not too bad I think it's this way isn't it oh sugar that, that startled me there I should have remembered those yeah it's this way Right, and then we need to use... Actually, I will quick save here because I don't want to have to walk all the way back. Mind you, you can fast travel through them though, can't you? So it's not too bad as well. So, in a way the game seems like it's limiting you, but in other ways it has given you ways around that. So, probably didn't explain that very well. Right, okay. Oh, sugar. Right, I think I'm going to go round this way again and go back into the pool area and see what I can find. Right, go, 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 go. There's actually a shiny in that corner. I just, corner, I just saw it then. Sorry for repeating myself there. I got a bit nervous because I was being chased. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely a good thing about this game. It is genuinely unsettling. Even though it's like not your typical in your face horror game, it's just a top down cutesy game. They've done really well with the atmosphere, the music and the gameplay I think. Come on fish, get out of my way. Puzzle piece one found. Hang on a second. I don't know if this is a safe spot to be looking at this but we're going to do it anyway. Puzzle 
piece one, a 3D puzzle piece. Let's find them all and build the puzzle. It's a drain. It's a drain. Ah, there's something stuck in there. Ooh, okay. Is this what I missed? Grab it. Yes. Yes, please. Wet bone. Oh, is this the item I need? Yes, it's a key item. Wet bone. A small bone that was stuck in the drain. Soft mold is growing on it. Yes, this is what we need for the dog, guys. I got the item. Woohoo! So I was right. I did need to come back to the pool. Right, note to self, next time be more observant and explore more, Kylie. I need to remember that dying on this game isn't, like, a huge punishment because at least you get to respawn back at a shrine and you get to keep all your collectibles. Wow, that was really close. My heart actually skipped a beat then. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so close. Right, okay, let me... I need to make sure I've got a stone because there's going to be one of these dogs that pop up in a second. Go on, off you go. And I have actually got another stone as well, so I should be okay for the second dog that's over here. Oh, come on, I threw that, though. I did actually get an achievement, so... I have definitely still got that key item. Yes, I have. But I've only got... Well, I've got no stones now. How can I get to... Right. Right, just wait till he goes. That's the best way to get rid of him. Right, I could honestly do with... Oh, sugar. Get out of my way! Is that other dog's gonna appear over here so how am i gonna by tiptoe maybe or maybe that rock will have respawned. Yay, the rock's respawned. So I can distract the dog now. Ho ho ho! See, he comes out so close to you that if you're a split second too slow, he gets you. So you've got to be so fucking careful. Right, it's this way. Okay, let's put the bone down. 
He should like this. If he doesn't, I don't know what the item is. Oh, he likes it! Yes! That's right, you take that and let me get the shoe. It looks... Oh, sorry, it took the wet bone. It's because I'm not wearing my glasses. Oh! Come on now, let me past. Thank you. It's gone. Slippers. Cloth shoes that I wear in the school. It's slippery on rainy days so I fall down a lot. Well they're not very good then are they? And she should probably get different ones. It's Sis's shoe. Sis's shoe found. Would you like to save? Yes, I would. I just got another achievement, by the way. I am pointing out the achievements because I'm assuming they're going to be the exact same spots that trophies pop up. So, just in case people are wondering. I can't read what they are, though. Not without my glasses on. <laughs> Not from this distance. Sis's shoe. I remember her putting this on. She wore this on the day she left. Um, is she only wearing one shoe right now? I have no clue where Sis went, but I have to find her. I should start at the rice fields. Okay, well that's a, definitely a clue on where we need to go. So where's the rice fields? Woods, graveyard, temple, ponds. I thought that said hell for a second then. Hill. Um... And I'm back. I decided to close the game down and open it up again because I was getting those frame rate issues. So hopefully it's fixed it, but we shall see. So we're going to make our way over to the fields. Right, so I think this way is quicker. I'm not exactly sure how to get to the fields. Maybe we've got to go through the vacant lot. I don't know. Go, 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 go. Can I interact with this sack? I can. Right, is that shrine near here? Because I actually just want to interact with that a second before I do anything else. I think it's... No. Never mind, it's not down there. Might be up here, actually. Oh, there's another sack there. Oh, I got fish. Oh, maybe I can use this for the giant floating cat head that I ran into a while ago. Right, so that's good. I'm glad we found that. He's one that runs at you, so I don't really want to risk going that way. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the shrine. I do need to get to that, actually. Down here. Down, 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 down. Oh my god. 
happened? Oh my god, there's two. I died. Let's try again. <laughs> so there's two things I want to do. I want to get back to the spot where we found the cat, which I can't even remember where that is actually. Maybe we can use the fish on that. And also we need to get to the fields. Right, let's go left this time. Because we have better luck going left. And we get another coin. Ooh, hang on. Yes! Some more fish as well. And I do actually still want to get to that shrine as well. I think it's down here, isn't it? Go, 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 go! I've gone the wrong way again, haven't I? Oh, hang on! Isn't this... Oh, hang on, here we go. Oh, hello, what's this? Are we supposed to follow them, I guess? What the hell is that? Oh, wow! What the hell? I'm guessing it's protecting something. Meat found. Oh my gosh. Oh, so... What is that noise? Part one found. Is that of the puzzle, is it? Oh! Oh, he likes that. Is anything else here or is that it? I'm feeding the kitties, yay! Do I get... Hmm. Right, how do I get to the fields? Apparently I'm near the fields, but I don't know how to get to them. Maybe there's a path behind that house over there. I don't think there's... Can't see any path. Well, that looks like steps, but... I can't pick these back up. Is 
Alright, so I'm gonna try and go down and right. Holy shit! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's gonna get me. I think it's too fast. Ah, it's too close! No, 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 no! Leave me be! Stop chasing me, for the love of god! I need a box. Ah. Right, let's check what I got though. What was it? It was uh, part one, wasn't it? For puzzle? Well, I got meat. It's kind of squishy like meat. Sometimes it moves. Oh, does that mean it's alive then? see that piece I picked up. Oh there it is, part one. A mechanical part I've never seen before. Do I get a bunch of them to build something? Is that a clue? Is that a clue though? Right. So I still need to make my way back over to the field. But I did manage to do a few things though, so that's good. Um, what I'm probably going to do, guys, is stop this episode here and then we're going to try and get to the fields again from the house. So, yeah, if you are enjoying this series, guys, don't forget to like and comment on the videos of this series. It really does help me out as a YouTuber and it shows me you guys are enjoying it. Also, if you like my channel and you are interested in this game, then consider using my affiliate links down below in the video description. They will take you to PlayAsia where you can either purchase PSN points and get the code straight away or buy the game physically. So thank you very much for supporting me. As always, guys, take it easy and I shall see you next time.